Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Joanne Timbong. Lawyer Gobin Singh Deo says DNA samples of Kajang counsellor Tan Boon Hua and Lee Wai Wing do not match those found on the belt and coat belonging to political aide Teo Beng Hock. Gobin, who is holding a watching brief for Teo's family, said this at the start of the inquest into Teo's death Wednesday. Two of the witnesses who were said to have uh, not given their samples, gave their samples over the weekend. We got a report this morning uh, which clearly shows that uh, their samples do not match those samples found uh, on the uh, building hall. So that's, that's, that's what I said uh, in court this morning. I think uh, the report says that a total of 157 samples were taken. Uh, what do you call it? The contents of that report will be revealed uh, in court soon, uh, hopefully tomorrow. Both Tan and Lee, who reportedly refused to give their DNA samples earlier to assist in Theo's, Theo's inquest, had submitted their samples to the chemistry department last week. Both men had said that their saliva samples were taken and they clarified that they had not refused to give the samples but could not do so according to the time given by the department as they had prior work engagements. The influenza A H1N1 virus claimed four more lives, bringing the total number of fatalities in Malaysia to 12. Health Ministry Director General Tan Sri Ismail Merikan said in a statement on Wednesday that three patients were a three-year-old, a 12-year-old and a 20-year-old, all of whom died at the Malacca Hospital on August 3rd. The fourth was a six-year-old boy who died Wednesday at the Batupahat Hospital. There were 16 new cases of AH1N1 infection recorded over the past 24 hours, bringing the accumulated total in Malaysia to 1,476 since the outbreak. A couple has filed a negligence suit against a developer, the Slango government, and three others after their two children were killed in a landslide in Uluyam last November. Firefly pilot Roslan Mohammad Jani and his wife Aziza Madon filed a suit at the High Court Civil Registry in Kuala Lumpur on Wednesday through their lawyers. They have named developer SAP Uluyam Sindirian Berhad, engineering consultant SLP Perunding Sindirian Berhad, owner of the housing property Yayasan Slango, the Hulu Slango District Council and the Slango government as defendants. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Joanne Timbuang. Thanks for watching.